All right, everybody, welcome back to Draft and Die Dunwich Legacy, Home of the Lost and the Damned. Uh, we are readying up to go into a new round with Rex and Nathaniel. So let's hit that ever satisfying build all button. And then let's do that ever satisfying thing where we switch to private and do that thing again. <laughs> so uh, Rex's curse can't be drawn early. Search for the truth can, notably. Draw X cards where X is the number of clues on Rex Murphy to a maximum of five. That seems disgusting. I'm very into that. Strange solution we don't really care about. Uh, working a hunch and disc of insomnia are both fine. Working a hunch is really funny because it commits for two books, which is something that Rex really wants, but he also really wants to like get a bunch of clues early. Uh, disc of insomnia. We will spawn enemies on ourselves, so this seems like a reasonable use of my time, particularly early on in the game. I think working a hunch is a little less exciting. We have Search for the Truth. The main thing we need is Dr. Milan Christopher, right? So probably that should be the highest priority to find. If you don't draw him early, you're going to be a little bit sad. Um, but yeah, three cards. We got a Forbidden Knowledge of Burning the Night Oil and a Reckless, which again we can't draw. Dr. Milan. Cool. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, Dr. Milan Forbidden Knowledge Burning the Night Oil feels like a pretty good start on our resource game, so... Uh, we don't even really have to play the the Burning Man Night Oil, but notably it will give us some resources when we need them, so that's something. All right, Nathaniel, same thing. Change color over there. Safeguard. Boxing gloves. Stand together. Emergency cash. That's a absurdly strong hand. The only thing we need now is a fight card, so draw one. Great Wagner. Well, that's not a fight card, but I'll definitely take it. Um, so it's going to be... Play greet, play stand together, play safeguard, or play greet, play emergency cash, play boxing gloves. Either way, I'm very happy. I think we're we're quite satisfied with that. Since this is the second run, we're not going to read through all of the text, but we will read the uh, act and agenda decks. I think on the third and fourth runs, we won't even read those, depending on what the circumstances are. You've arrived at the Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over and a mysterious silence hangs in the air over the quad. Uh, Professor Rice was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the Humanities Building. All right, so basically seven doom, six clues, get through it as fast as we can. We are not in the uh, most difficult version of this. Set the token bag to hard, which resets the token bag completely. Negative two, if you fail, discard the top five cards of your deck. Negative one, negative five, instead if there are 10 or more cards in your discard pile. Negative X, discard the top three, where X is the total printed value on those cards. You've completed Turn to the House Always Wins. You search for an enthralled security guard. So we don't get one of those, but we randomly choose between Orn Library and the Warren Observatory. So I'm going to go with the Warren Observatory. All right. Uh, we know this one is like discard a bunch of cards when you do it, but I think we should be okay with that. The latest addition to the Miskatonic University campus is the Gerald Warren Astronomical Laboratory, which sits high atop Crane Hill and overlooks all of Arkham, built in the latest Art Nouveau style. The observatory stands up distinctly from the rest of the buildings in the university. Hmm. Professor Rice was last seen in the humanities, teaching one of his Latin classes, but there's no light, and the night is silent around you. Among the aged administration building, creepers of ivy climb from the ground in an effort to claim it. The old hall stands alone in an isolated section of the campus, apart from the day-to-day -day bustle of students. The science building dominates the eastern side of the campus. Its windows are dark, save for a lone window shining faintly in the corner of the basement. This on a quad, two early winters strip the trees bare. And the student union, even at this late hour, you can hear a muffled chatter from inside the student union. Perhaps some of the students will know where Professor Rice is. Okay, cool. So we got all of our clues and all of our things and all of our stuff set up. Um... We did the Warren Laboratory thing, so that's all good. I believe we're just ready to rock and roll. Let's pop into the investigation phase and see what we want to do. Uh, Nathaniel should go first since he's got the stand together. I think it's going to be stand together uh, emergency cash Crete Wagner or stand together safeguard. Yeah, let's do stand together uh, safeguard and Greet Wagner. So take our resources down to zero. Next turn, we'll emergency cash, but this turn, we're getting set up. Rex, you're going to gain the two off stand together. And that's Nathaniel's whole turn. Action one, action two, and action three. Very simple, easy to do. Let's make sure our player cards are set up in the correct location, which is the Miskatonic Quad, which has no options on it apart from a resign option. Shrouded by fences and gates of wrought iron, you can't help but feel as much a prisoner here as a guest. Okay, uh, so Rex, hi. We're definitely going to do Dr. Milan Christopher. I think we're going to do Disc of Itsumna as well, since this is our first turn. 
And then for our third action, I think Nathaniel's always going to be following us as we go investigating. So let's go to the Warren Observatory. Is it possible that I want to be dropping the disc it after uh, Milan Christopher is paid for? Like, we might want to investigate right now. Five against whatever this value is. Hmm. Notably, we might want to be investigating with like a pretty... I may want to find a different area to investigate even, because this one's going to be like a fairly high shroud value, I think. What are the easy shroud values? Student unions, probably going to be pretty easy. Humanities, I think, is average. Science building, I couldn't be sure. More an observatory, though, I think it's four. So I'd have to commit maybe like Rex's search for it. Yeah, I think we do disk of its omni here. I think that's correct. But let's let's review the location first and then decide if we want to spend on disk. Okay, after you discover one or more clues, discard three cards on top of your deck for each clue discovered. So we're definitely gonna to want to have a lot of books for that one. Um Disc of its omni is fine. I'm really not sure if I shouldn't have just gone to the student union and union and tried to pick up some easy clues. But, I mean, we can investigate this location with Search for the Truth, which is a pretty strong way to just immediately get it out of the way. So, I guess I'm okay with that. Okay, and Nathaniel comes with us because of Safeguard, so that exhausts. Uh, other than that, we're good. Yeah, everybody did their thing. Uh, everybody's done their part, and all the resources are spent. Pretty efficient first turn for setup. I say we did pretty well there. Okay, right-click, go to enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, resource, and a card. We drew a manual dexterity and leadership for Nathaniel. Isn't that lovely? Gonna puff these up quite a bit so that we can see those cards because otherwise they're not going to show up quite as well on YouTube. Okay. So uh, that's upkeep. Mythos phase. Doom goes to one. Encounters are dealt. Who's our lead? I think it's uh, Rex. I think Rex is our lead. I don't think it matters here too much. Um, leads often draw more monsters, so it could be Nathaniel, and we could just go right to left. Uh, there's often the thing I'm most comfortable with, but I think it doesn't matter as much here as it usually does. I'll give it a shot. Nathaniel. Infinite doorway. Okay. You have to discard the top card of your deck. If it's a weakness, you draw it. Otherwise, you just either take a horror or discard that card. Ooh, gross. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, this might need to be shuffled. Yes. So, actually, let's steal a random encounter instead. Resurgent Evil. Okay. Draw the top two cards of the encounter deck. Place the Doom on the current agenda. The spec can cause the current agenda to advance. So either we get two encounters, or we place a Doom. I think here we place a Doom. We're not ready to fight yet. We don't have Boxing Gloves. Well, actually, we are ready to fight, I guess. Well, we don't have a event to fight with, so yeah, we'll place a Doom here. It's uh, it's not as bad here as it is in some, and we've got a lot of time to investigate this area. Thrall spawns at the location with most clues and has Retaliate. Um, I'm sure Nathaniel would like to kill that. Can Nathaniel kill that in one go? No. Disc of its Somna, get rid of it. All right, it's dead. Two damage to it, and that's it. We defeated an enemy. Hooray. Uh, leadership's going to give Rex two books, so that's seven against four. And we need to succeed by two or more to discover an additional clue. So, hmm, you know, I'm going to get pretty crazy here to actually get all the clues that we want, but we're going to do our best. Hmm. Okay, so uh, that's Mythos Phase. Doom's done. Encounters are done. I click. Investigation. So, Nathaniel, going to Emergency Cash, gain four resources, play Boxing Gloves. We now have a total of seven while fighting, which is awesome. And uh, I think we'll take a short second here to pull out all of those tokens to indicate we got our things. Hang on a sec. All right, we set up uh, Berwin stat counters and uh, made sure that we are appropriately counting Great Wagner on Nathaniel. I also added an extra one counter above the boxing gloves just so that I remember that when I'm fighting, I get a bonus, but not while other things are happening, because 
Otherwise, if I test like fight against something, could be an issue, but probably not. Either way, Nathaniel's at seven to fight. Uh, Rex is at six or five book for everything, which is great. Okay, um, looking good. So main things are good. Investigations are very likely to go correctly, um, but obviously like we would like to add leadership if we can. Um, thinking about everything else that's going on, we have gained three resources, played boxing gloves, and we have one action left. So that remaining action will be to draw a card because we really need a way to fight monsters. Teamwork is cool. Uh, we can trade safeguard notably and like uh, <laughs> if I trade safeguard to Rex, then Nathaniel can drag Rex around, which is kind of cute. Um, I don't know if it's super good, but it's definitely got some potential. Um, they're probably not going to do that this turn, obviously, but it seems neat. Okay, so that's uh, Nathaniel's three actions. Now Rex, we've got the manual dexterity, and we've got burning the midnight oil to gain resources. Forbidden knowledge is a potential commit, which would give us eight against four. If I commit search for the truth, I'm very likely to get all of the stuff that I need. But if I just start doing some base investigates, I'm not going to be unhappy. Five, six, seven, eight against four. Nathaniel's going to commit his leadership for sure. So that's two question marks. We're burning the midnight oil for three resources. We throw forbidden knowledge at this as well. That's more resources down the drain, but it's uh, a big deal to be eight against four. I think we go for it, yeah. Eight against four. Let's flip it. A zero, so we succeed by two or more, which means we get both these clues. Stick those on our clue counter, since we're not playing uh, anything that that wouldn't be good for. Um, and with that, we have discovered all the clues at Warren Observatory, so we have to discard six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice! Uh, that is forced discard, so we do actually get rid of the Reckless, which is nice. Um, okay. And the leadership goes into Nathaniel's deck. Uh, that's action one. <laughs> Action two for Rex is going to be to step into the Humanities Building. Nathaniel will go with him with Safeguard. At the end of your turn, if you're in the Humanities Building, discard the top X cards of deck where X is the amount of horror on you. Powers out, plunging the building's halls into heavy darkness. There's no sign of Professor Rice. How many clues do we need to advance? Six? Okay, so this is definitely the next place to investigate. Uh, since we can't do anything other than investigate here and we don't need to succeed by two or more, we're just going to investigate five against... Gain a resource. Uh, oh, I must not have had my taboo list on because this doesn't have the taboo notification on it. I should double check that I should rebuild this deck with the taboo list. We'll not do that right now. I don't think there's anything else that's broken in our deck, so uh, we are good. Uh, investigating still happens at five against three. So, boop. That's a skull. Skull is negative two, and if you fail, you discard the top five cards. We don't fail. Instead, we pick up a clue. And that puts us to three clues. Not bad. Okay. And Nathaniel did his thing already, so we are all done. Uh, with that, we go to the enemy phase. No enemies. Upkeep. Resource and a card. And resource and a card. Rex, you got... Disc of its own, I get. Nice. Okay, so with that, we are solid. Um, Mythos phase. Doom goes to three. And we deal our encounters. I've forgotten who the lead is. It's Nathaniel. Okay. Whippoorwill. Nice. Light of a four, but on. Uh, we can put that on either. I don't really care. I think uh, act seems fine. It's not a surge, though. So uh, Direct damage or horror does suck, but I think it's fine. Um, we are both fairly healthy. Uh, the one thing about direct damage or horror right now is... Oh, interesting. If we deal damage to greet, is that direct... How does that work? I think it says directly to greet, it's direct damage to greet, which sort of makes sense. But yeah, a little unusual. All right. Anyways. Uh, I mean, I don't need to use get over here on this whippoorwill. This thing is uh, 
pretty meaningless by and large, so notable. Uh, Nathaniel has too many resources. We stood together and we did our thing. We played Greet for five, so we should have... We didn't pay for boxing gloves, so that was a, I was too caught up in setting up the tokens, but okay, caught that at least. All good. Uh, that's the Whippoorwill, and Rex didn't get a card yet. Nope, because the Thrall was the last one, so. Visions, Future, Past. Test 5, Will, for each point you fail by, discard the top card of your deck. Um, so Sorcery kills us, right? But if we... We're at this kind of like interesting stage where if we mill through it fast enough, we uh, we don't really mind. Um, I also can't beat this test. Um, there's actually no way for me to do it. Uh, well, actually, Rex gets a question mark, so it's possible. But I don't think we're going to commit a bunch of tests, a bunch to not discarding a top card of our deck. Let's give it a shot. Negative two uh, for each point we fail by. So that's a total of four points. One, two, three, four. It's not good, but we'll see. We could like force our way out of the Warren Observatory or something. I'd be pretty happy. Uh, basically, with Rex, I really want to. I'm pretty sure I want to try to draw through my deck before I get hit the big thing. Uh, but yeah, we're mostly okay. So that leads us back to the investigation phase. Nathaniel has to go first because Nathaniel has to kill this Whippoorwill. Uh, I don't know that Nathaniel has a job other than killing this Whippoorwill. So. Let's think a little bit about what we want Nathaniel to do. Drawing cards would be nice. Uh, if we use get over here, then we can definitely do that pretty easily. But I can just as easily engage the Whippoorwill, which is at our location and not engaged with us at the moment, for one action, which, yeah, okay, I engage the Whippoorwill. I'm going to fight six plus one, but minus one from the Whippoorwill against two. Negative two succeeds. Uh, we discard the Whippoorwill. I get to search the top six for a spirit. Uh, I think I have previously messed up with Nathaniel and searched the top uh, nine. Or I did that with Zoe, actually. So apologies for that if you noticed it. <laughs> but uh, either way, um, top six, one, two punches, really, really strong. Clean them out is also very good, but we don't have like a lot of need for resources at the moment. I think one, two punch is probably better, but... They're both very good. We'll, we'll take the one-two punch. That allows us to kill some very big things very quickly. So I like it. Uh, so that's exhausting the boxing gloves. We also get to exhaust Greet Wagner, deal one damage to her, and pick up a clue at this location. And we're not... Yeah, we're all good at there otherwise. So that was engage, fight, as our actions. For our last action, I think we draw a card. Overpower. Seems great. Okay. Change of color. Uh, we go to Rex, and Rex, well, let's lock this. Thank you. Um, Rex is looking pretty good. To just investigate. It would be nice to draw some cards to get like better investigation chances, but three investigates at five against three. What's the negative three fail? Now it's a negative five if there's a hmm. There's some pretty bad fails here, but I think just raw investigating is fine here. Five against three. Negative five does not succeed. Five against three. Negative one succeeds by two. We pick up two clues. Exhaust Mulan on Christopher to gain a resource. And for our last action, if we move, we'll move Nathaniel with us, so that will save us some actions. I think I want to do that. So, move to the Miskatonic Quad. Uh, we have six clues now, so when does this happen? Anytime we want it to. Good to know. All right, and we should just do it, because it affects the encounter deck, but I don't think it affects anything else. So, advance the act. Uh, direct damage is no longer direct damage. Direct horror is no longer direct horror. Treat all damage as direct damage and all horror is direct horror. Let me check this real quick, because actually if Nathaniel takes the damage for Greet Wagner, which might be what's supposed to happen, uh, that actually is good for us. Ability causes a card to take direct damage or horror. It must be assigned directly to the specified card. Okay, that's sensible. <laughs> good to know. Um, 
It would be hilarious if Nathaniel took the damage, but uh, I think we're we're all good with that. Okay, so after hours. You're unable to find Professor Rice, but one of the students you spoke with mentioned a strange man entering Rice's office. Fortunately, the door leading to the faculty office is locked at this late hour. The student says a head dinner of jazz can be able to let you in if you can find him. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set aside jazz mulligan into the encounter deck. Faculty offices, jazz mulligan. All right. Concerned for the Professor Rice's safety, you seek out the head janitor who can let you onto the locked sections of the campus. Spend a clue to discard the top five cards, top ten if there's one player. If you discard Jazz, you resolve his revelation. When you take control of Jazz, uh, advance. Cool. So, um, that's pretty good. Move was our last action. We advance the act. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep phase, resource in a cart. Acquire in mind. Nathaniel, resource in a cart. Clean them out. Good times. I did shuffle this, right? Pretty sure I did. Um, okay, so uh, that leads us into the mythos phase. Doom goes to four. Encounters are dealt. So right to left. Infinite doorway attaches to our... Oh, gosh, what a bad place for an infinite doorway. It's additional cost to move into or out of. You must discard the top card of your deck. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Vassal of the Lurker. At the end of the enemy phase, each investigator Vassal of the Lurker's location discards one card from the top of his very tech. Okay. I don't have Disc of Insomnia down, so I can't deal this two damage, but uh, I think Nathaniel's got it covered. Odds are pretty good. We could engage here. Uh, don't really need to, but uh, regardless, that's the Mythos phase, so we go to Investigation. All right, Nathaniel, what's up? One two punch is the simplest choice by far. I could also do like clean them out for two damage. No, that's no good. Let's do one two punch. Um, are we comfy with punching while Rex is standing next to us? I would say yes. One two punch plus overpower is five, six, seven, eight against three. No, I don't need overpower. Eight against three is fine. <laughs> we, we automatically get plus one for the attack. One, two punch is ridiculous. Okay, uh, so eight against three. Negative five? Negative one succeeds. So that deals two damage because Nathaniel gets to do extra damage with events. And then we get to punch again at nine against three. Auto fail. That's annoying. Uh, we punch Rex for two damage. Not great, certainly. Um, okay. Well, that does uh, make the rest of our actions pretty simple. Clean them out. Uh, we're going to punch again. Wait, are we just going to punch twice here? I think we're just going to punch twice here because Nathaniel wants to save the damage he's dealing. So... Five, six, seven against three. Succeeds. Five, six, seven against three. Uh, succeeds, and we get to return an event from our discard pile to our hand. One, two, punch. Okay, uh, so that kills the Vassal of the Lurker, puts it in the victory pile. Nathaniel exhausts Boxing Gloves for six. I could have actually moved Rex first. No, it wouldn't have worked because we would have taken an attack for opportunity. I was like, oh, we could greet Wagner here, but nope. Uh, so top six, search, Cho, boxing gloves, physical training, Tommy Malloy, and monster slayer. That is a spirit. So we draw that, and then we shuffle. Uh, that's Nathaniel Cho's whole turn. Action, 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 Jackson. Nathaniel Cho, <laughs> such a good character. We we passed an auto fail without like a lot of issues. I'm very happy with that. All right. Um, the administration building is the toughest place to investigate at this stage. I should not have advanced because I wanted to use uh, Rex's search for the truth. On the other hand. Okay, student union is going to be pretty easy to get. 
administration building is going to have victory points on it, I'm guessing. Or maybe not. I know all of the places that Jazz would be would have victory points on them. I also... So what I'm fairly certain of is that like the faculty offices... I think there's three places which are dormitories, faculty offices, and science building uh, gives us like the experiment or the lab or something like that. Uh, so whatever ones of these places we go to, there is going to be something slightly different about them. I know the administration building's value is four, and student union I'm pretty sure is one. So if you want to just go get some clues, student union seems like a solid place to do it. That also leads us to the dormitories, which is one of the best places we could go, but I'd rather defeat the uh, experiment. So maybe we go to the science lab first or the administration building first. I think action one, we go to the science building. Once again, uh, Nathaniel exhaust safeguard to come with us. When you fail a will test in the science building, you take a damage. Oh, that's rough. I don't like that. We put the set aside alchemy labs into play, so that's nice. Hi, hi. None of these cards, please. Dormitories. Alchemy labs, got it. And then this investigation is a straight five against two, which is uh, we can certainly make that eight against two to make sure we succeed. So that's action two. Negative five, we succeed by one. Uh, what a bad use of inquiring mind, I guess. I don't know. That worked. We didn't get a clue, but uh, I guess our last action will five against two. Negative three succeeds. Get the other clue. Uh, when we successfully investigate with Milan Christopher, we gain a resource. We can certainly put some damage on Milan Christopher if we want to. I was going to play Disc of Somna, but uh, I don't think so. We're fine. We got two clues. Uh, Search for the Truth now draws two, which is nice. Um, but that is our actions. So we go to Mythos. No, we go to Enemy Face. This is why we're at right click, upkeep, resource in a card. I've got a plan. Good times. Resource in a card. Daniel gets the cop. Okay, B cop's good, but Greet Wagner's better. Uh, encounters. Starting with Nathaniel. Baleful welcome. Evade is one of them, for sure. If they choose fight and we draw a monster, bad things happen. Rex really wants to investigate this turn. But he can also pretty easily play Disc of Itsomna, so move, move, play. I'm going to say play. Uh, evade and play. Rex. And Thrall Security Guard. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't choose fight. Uh, Hunter retaliate. After it attacks, you discard the top two cards of your deck. If it's defeated, evaded, it's defeated. Does it have prey? No. Okay, um, it doesn't actually matter. It's praise for when it spawns and not when it's drawn, notably. So something I learned recently is that like, even if you draw the card and it's got a prey, uh, we don't pay attention to that. It's only if it spawns from something. All right, so after it's evaded, it's defeated. We can't evade it, though, so we just have to deal three damage to it, which, uh, no worries, we can do that. Um, Nathaniel starts, because Nathaniel's dealing with monsters today. Although, honestly... Rex might like to, like, discard all of his cards right now. <laughs> He'd take too much damage, though. Uh, Nathaniel, just go with Monster Slayer. This thing has two fight. Monster Slayer. Seven against two. Jesus. You you do have to stop punching um, your friend. That is a that is an important part of it. All right, clean him out. Seven against two. Negative two succeeds. Gain two resources, and then attack nine against two. Skill is probably not bad. It's a negative two. Okay. So that succeeds. We discard this. I draw a card off overpower for succeeding the test. 
Tap boxing gloves to search the top six. Overpower dodge, vicious blow, clean them out. And get over here. Both good. Uh, I guess get over here. That seems right. Oh god, that's so strong here, actually. If we just sit in the science building, we can like... We can fight with things, we can do all sorts of stuff. I like it a lot. We might even just stay here. That's pretty interesting. Okay, um, well that's cool. That's that's our turn though. Okay, um Rex, I think we're gonna discard the top five. I think we're gonna actually like go after these things. Top five cards for a clue. So action one. One, two, three, four, five. Bad. Action two, top five for a clue. One, two, three, four, five. Bad. Um did either of us discard cards from Infinite Doorway when we moved out of the Mescatonic Quad? I don't know. Uh, I think Rex's last action is going to be to lay down a Disc of Itsomna for three. I think I do have to discard to Infinite Doorway, because I don't think either of us did that. So discard top card of your deck. It's a weakness, draw it otherwise. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So now Fragments. Uh... Each copy in your hand or play area, take a horror discard. Okay. You. Overpower. Okay. Fine and good. That was investigator phase. Enemy phase. Nothing. Upkeep. Resource in a card. Resource in a card. Got ourselves a dodge. Looks lovely. Okay, um, good to know. That should be really, really strong, actually. I think Nathaniel's going to stay up here while Rex goes to investigate, like, the administration or the student union or something like that. But we'll think about it. Mythos phase. Counters. Reasons future past. Eldritch. Huh. Okay. So let's do Visions of Future Past first. That's going to be a straight... 3 against 5. Can't really do much about that. Unless we fail by 1. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely do not get anything back. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, for Rex, this is a bit more interesting. We fail take two horror, which we can put one on Christopher and one on Rex. So we may draw a card, which we will. Flashlight, nice. Um, test X will. X is the number of cards in your hand when the test begins. Five will. To take two horror. Unexpected courage would help. But it would not be great. I think I just take two horror though. Yeah, sure, let's let's just do it. Negative two fails. Ouch. We take two horror. Rex can soak it. It's not a big deal. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Um that is the mythos. Did I put the doom to five? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that real quick. Okay, double-checked it. I went Mythos and then immediately pressed Encounters. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, uh, but now we're in the investigation phase. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, I think this is where our safeguarding ends. Rex has got a disc. He's got... I've got a plan. He's fine. Um, so we're going to move, move... Maybe we should clear the student union first. So... I probably should have gone to House Always Wins first, I'm realizing, because like I'm thinking about like what the options are, and I'm pretty sure that a tablet happens if we fail to save the students, and if we rescue Warren Rice, we don't save the students. I'm pretty sure of that. If we kill the experiment, we might find Warren Rice, so it might be fine. Uh, I think we need to go to the student union, though. 
All right. Cool. That's a five against one. And we will investigate right now. Yep. Nothing to it. Five against one. We succeed by a lot. We get two clues, so we could commit unexpected courage to make sure we get all the clues. I'm fine with what we got. Zero succeeds by a bunch. We get both clues. And that's two clues. Uh, I spent Rex's other two clues on Jazz, so that's the end of that. I think we can generally spend clues off any investigator, but it's possible that it can only be Rex who spends the clue because it's Rex's resource. So Nathaniel might just be doing some setup set here, getting ready for the big experiment to come out. Um, he's actually in really good shape for this, though. Uh, maybe I should have traded off the safeguard or something like that. I could have followed... Oh, uh, Rex moved, so he has to discard a card. Magnifying glass. No magnifying glasses in hand, so that's fine. Okay, Nathaniel, what are we doing? Gaining a bunch of resources is fine. B-Cup's cool. B-Cup's nice because we don't really need clues anymore, so... It'd be pretty cool, but uh, it all we also have like a lot of soak left to put on Greet, so... I'm not particularly concerned about that. Teamwork's not important at the moment. Drawing cards is minimal at this point. Gaining resources is minimal at this point. I could just go to the administrative building or follow Rex down and discard more cards, but I think I'm happy where I'm at. So I think Nathaniel just gains three resources here because he's going to draw another card. He has everything he needs. So Nathaniel's a self-sustaining machine. Just really, really good. Double check that I paid for all my cards. I think we're good, yeah. We might have forgotten to pay for 1-2 Punch, but it's not going to matter in this round anyways, unless we somehow spend below. I'm pretty sure that we didn't, so. Okay. Um, that's the investigation phase. Enemy phase? Nothing. Meh, upkeep. Resource and a card. Resource and a card. Which is blows great. Um, encounters. Hunting Recollections, for each card in your hand, if there's a copy in your discard pile, take a horror to a maximum of three. You take no horror, top three cards of your deck. I'm sure we're going to have something here. Okay, let's do a very difficult search here. So, uh, clean amounts, overpowers, leadership. Don't have leadership. Monster Slayer. Don't have Monster Slayer. Emergency Cash and Stand Together. I only have these cards in my discard pile. Didn't I stand together twice? I, maybe not. Okay. Um, somehow we dodge it. I I think we didn't take any, so we just discard three. Okay, Rex. Tommy Malloy gets discarded. Delightful. Rex, don't do it. Don't do it, Rex. Ugh, you did it, Rex. Rex, you bastard. Okay. Uh, problems. It's also got search. Secret door. Investigators can't leave this location. Test three to search for a passage, three to search for a way out. Mm. So we'll test for Nathaniel to try and get out. It's a pretty bad one. Not likely to succeed. For Rex, it's much easier. It's five against three. I think we have to put it on Rex's location. And let's just put that in our thread area so we remember it's there. It's technically on the location, but yeah. There's a secret door in the student union and everything is bad. <laughs> Do you want to heal damage and a horror for actions? Like, we got hit pretty hard here, but also Nathaniel's kind of good, so I think we're okay. Doom went to six during the Mythos phase, which we are in. Investigation. I gotta be... A little more careful about this kind of thing, but... Okay, so Rex can't draw cards anymore. We just don't want to do that. So we're going to be committing cards to things instead. Uh, Rex is going first, though. Action one, spend a clue. Top five. Thrall. Search and evils. Jazz Mulligan. Good job on discarding Resurge and evils, Rex. Upper will. Upper will. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, into play at our location. Power later test three. Take control of Jazz. That's a five test, so 
Action one was spend a clue. Action two, we're going to make that test at seven. Uh, we're going to make that test at eight. All right. Jazz, we're parlaying with you. Hi. I did forget there was one parlay action in this one. I think we were talking about flying clothes earlier. It's not a bad parlay action, though. Test at eight. Bless, we can choose to fail the skill test draw three cards. That's a really bad idea, because we'll die faster. So, yep, nope, take control of Jazz. Hi. Oh, poor Christopher. Hi, friend. There goes all my intelligence. Okay. We can now use uh, Miskatonic locations. Also, I don't think I put the dormitories into play. Here they are. That's connected there. That's connected there. And we don't know about the administration building yet. Okay. Advance. You convince Jazz that something strange is going on. That Professor Rice might be in danger. He doesn't trust you enough to hand you his keys, but he agrees to come with you. Well. All of a sudden you hear a crash coming from the science building and a student rushes towards you. Help, he cries. There's some kind of animal losing the chem labs. I only barely caught a glimpse of it, but he shudders. I think it's heading to the dorms. You've got to do something. The alchemy labs is not in play. Put it into play. If you're at agenda one or two, spawn the set-aside experiment in the alchemy labs. If you've completed the house always wins, put the set-aside alchemical concoction into play underneath the alchemy labs. If extracurricular activity is the first scenario of the campaign, remove the set-aside alchemical concoction from the game instead. So there's a thing underneath the alchemy labs, but it's put into play. Your art at agenda one or two, it's in the alchemy labs. Okay, so it's actually here. And so is the concoction. Hmm, that's annoying, because I think we need Jez to get into that location. Uh, the enemy phase begins, ready the experiment. It deals two and two, but we can cancel those attacks, notably. So does it retaliate? Oh, thank goodness, it does not. Okay. You have only moments to react. You could warn the students in the dormitories and escort them to safety, or continue your task of searching the faculty offices for Professor Rice, or perhaps you could try to slay the beast that threatens the campus. A chemical concoction assumably requires us to investigate the alchemy labs. Um, I'd be okay with that. I'm also... How, how's Rex doing right now? He needs to heal some damage and horror. Oh, but Jazz can get him into the building, and then he can be fine. <laughs> All right. Find and complete an objective on another encounter card. So this thing's going to stay in the alchemy labs for a little bit longer, as I recall. Uh, Nathaniel has to decide if he's going to move to it or if he's just going to prep up and be ready for it. It's currently a four, and it's got 13 health. Um, I, would, I feel like damaging it every turn is kind of key to our success. Uh, notably, we do have to soak some damage and horror every time we do that, so got to be a little careful about it. But Greet will help with that, and also Nathaniel's got B-Cup, so not too worried. Uh, Jazz, what's your deal? If you control Jazz Mulligan, you ignore the text on each unrevealed Miskatonic location. So only... So Nathaniel can't go into the science building. Pretty sure. But he can wait here and just have Greet soak all of the damage and horror from the move when it happens. And he can prep up and be ready. So I guess that's fine. We don't need a lot of clues uh, at this point. If we go into the dormitories, then we can try to rescue the students. But I think we're ready to fight this thing. I think we're good. Okay. Clue, Jazz, Last Action, uh, Discard Mole on Christopher, probably Discard Flashlight. Six against three right now. I don't need to pass this very hard. I think six against three is fine. Negative three succeeds, Secret Door's gone. Okay. Uh... We're good. That's enemy phase. This thing doesn't hunt or anything, so we're fine. Upkeep. Resource and a card. Uh, Nathaniel has to discard. Resource and a card. Hyper awareness. What did Nathaniel draw? Another boxing gloves. Good times. Okay. Uh, boxing gloves probably goes unless we have something we can commit for a investigation test. 
Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, so boxing gloves it is. Okay, uh, that's upkeep, mythos. Doom goes up to seven, agenda advances. The university is dead silent. Shadows coil about your feet as you walk, and you swear there's something following you with each step you take. Is it just your imagination, or is there really someone or something stalking you? Each investigator with five more cards in his or her discard pile takes a horror. Investigator with ten takes two instead. Oh, that sucks. Um, hmm. One on you, one on Jazz? One on you, one on Greet. Hmm. Could just kill Greet, set up Beat Cup. Yeah, let's kill Greet and set up Beat Cup. Okay. Professor Rice's disappearance isn't the only thing amiss at the university. You're unsure exactly what is going on, but you're starting to believe that Armitage was right in asking for your help. Each investigator's maximum hand size is reduced by three while checking his or her hand size during the upkeep phase. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I need to check a rule, because I need to know if Jazz's keys get us into the alchemy lab while we control him, or if uh, only the person with Jazz can move into the location. It's possible I could, like... No, I can't parlay with him unless I'm Nathaniel, so... Stuff's just gonna be weird. We don't want to go through the infinite doorway again. We could actually just, like, not risk it and go into the Jarm Toys instead. Pull all the clues off that and call it good. But I'm set up for this. Like, I'm feeling pretty happy. Nathaniel's gonna play Greet. He's gonna have... <laughs> He's gonna play Get Over Here, right? Wait, no, it's an Elite, isn't it? Yeah, so we can't move it to us, sadly. Be cool if we could pull it back. But play Greet, discard Teamwork... Yeah, okay, I'm going to check the rule and see if uh, we can move Nathaniel into the alchemy labs. I'm pretty sure we can't, but we'll find out. Can verify that the investigator with Jazz is the only one who can open up buildings. Uh, let's check. So we have a little bit of time, but we could use that to heal damage and horror, which would be helpful for not dying. Heal a damage, heal horror seems pretty nice here. Three over two. The question is, do we want to move into the dormitories and see what's going on there? Or do we want to go all in on trying to take out the alchemical horror? Because if things go south with the alchemical horror, it's bad. But if I want to actually go after this thing, I've got about three turns to do it. That's time enough to move into the student union, but I think we risk running into a lot of potential threats that way. Uh, I think we just move into the Miskatonic quad with Rex here. Nate. Hi. Uh, you're good where you're at. You take some horror if you don't move into this quad, so let's do beat cup. Your max hand size is 5 now, because we reduced it by 3 while checking during upkeep. You need 1-2 punches, you don't need get over here, and you don't need teamwork, so... Got plenty of resources. Standing next to Rex would be a good idea, but also like staying where you're at is very solid as well. I think I think staying where you're at is probably the correct route, because what's going to happen here is uh, Rex gets to move into the alchemy labs, it flips the alchemy labs, and then it shouldn't be locked anymore, so Nathaniel can safeguard in and start punching the monster. And also Rex can start searching for possible solutions to the experiment while also sacrificing Jazz to a grisly fate. Um, that's all going to happen pretty quickly. Nate, you are just absolutely, completely, and fully like not useful at anything right now. We just gained three resources. That's your whole turn. Uh, you need to stay where you're at, and Rex needs to drag you into this location to do stuff. So uh, that's, our, that's our investigation phase. Uh, wait, did we deal encounters? Okay, reset. I didn't do anything that required a skill test, right? I healed two damage and a horror. I healed the damage and a horror. I moved. Okay. I, I did forget to deal encounters, I'm pretty sure. Light of a Forgamon. Uh, that's the agenda this time. Beyond the Veil number two. And that's got search. Enthralled security guard. Um... Risk of its to evade it. 
Is it a hunter? It does, but I don't think we care. We're going three spaces away from it. Oh, wait, it's defeated. <laughs> Joy. Cool, that's fun. Uh, okay, so yeah, same thing now. Uh, heal a damage and a horror. Get to the place. Uh, Nathaniel, gain three resources. Okay. Resolved. Upkeeps. Uh, resource and a card. We got a discard. Mm. Flashlight? Hyper awareness is pretty good too. Manual dexterity is really important. Hyper awareness gives us speed. Let's ditch art student. I think we actually really want manual hyper awareness this turn, right? Hyper awareness, move, move. We could potentially move, move, evade. Oh, but we can do that at a pretty high value, so we're okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. I think we're set up. Uh, upkeep resource in a card. Nathaniel, you have to discard just a pile of stuff. Evidence is no good. We don't need it. Uh, dodge is going to help a lot. Teamwork we don't need. Get over here we don't need. Okay, good enough. Mythos. Doom goes to one. Counters. Thrall spawns the location with most clues. That location. Maybe we put it in the dormitories. No, it's fine. Uh, secret door. Attached the location with the most investigators without a secret door attached. Arrgh. Okay, it's one more turn of setup, which is annoying, but I think we just put it here. Yeah, we can deal with that. That's fine. Just allows us to spend some time on hyper awareness. Yeah, Nathaniel's not banging on that door without wanting to deal with the science experiment, so we're okay. We good? We're good. Investigation phase. Rex, hi. Action one, hyper awareness. Action two, five, six, seven against three. Cool. Done. Goodbye, secret door. Action three, get into the science building. Feel a will test here, it hurts, but you know, that's fine. Nathaniel, hi. You're good. Gain more resources? <laughs> it's just, it's dumb at this point. There's absolutely nothing we can do that's useful. I don't have teamwork anymore, so resources it is. Uh, enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep, resource and a card. Monster Slayer is really strong. Uh, let's get rid of it, get over here. Rex. Upkeep. Magnifying glass. Oh, that's good. We can play that fast too, which is nice. I'd like to play the flashlight. Um, but I also would like to investigate a ton, so I think we're just good to go. Okay. Uh, Mythos. Doom goes to two. And pretty soon we're going to be chasing after it instead of it chasing after us. Encounters. Hunting Recollections. Which card in your hand? Is there a Vicious Blow or a Dodge in my discard pile? No Vicious Blow, no Dodge. So there's definitely a Monster Slayer. Okay, so we take a Horror. Cool. Good times. Rex. Uh, okay. Oh god, I forgot to discard one too. I'm supposed to discard Strange Solution, and if I had one in my hand, I take a damage, but he didn't. Okay. Uh, he got to pass this, Rex. Unexpected courage. I think we're going to have to throw a dodge on that. Uh, 
Otherwise, the negative five kills Rex. Negative five is very bad regardless. If it doesn't kill Rex, then we have to resign, which is worse. Um, we could do Monster Slayer instead of Dodge. I think Nathaniel can afford to soak here. So Rex is just going to do his job, get in, and then try and resign. Um, but yeah, we're testing this six against five. Negative four is bad, but not awful. We fail by three. One, two, three. Okay. Rex is three turns from dying. But those are three turns that we can definitely use. Investigation phase. Rex. Move. Nathaniel safeguards after you. Yep. If you're successful instead of discovering clues, take the alchemical concoction from underneath this location of Abel. Okay, that's fine. Uh, second action. Dodge. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. We also need to pass an investigation check against five. Nine's good. I'd really like to use, I've got a plan too, but that's still gonna do two damage, so nine it is. Nine against, oh, what's the actual FA value? Two, oh, uh, <laughs> well, seven against two then. We succeed. Evade the alchemical concoction. No attacks of opportunity today. Magnifying glass. Do a little copy there. No, nope, not quite. Good try. <laughs> Grab this. Nine. One. Uh, investigating. Got it wrong. Uh, investigating six. Just six, huh? Seven, eight. Ten against five? Put a horror on ourselves. <laughs> uh, that's nine against five. I'm good with nine against five. Negative two succeeds. Pick up the alchemical concoction. Uh, and what do we do? Take it from under... Okay, it doesn't say what we do with it, but I assume it goes into our play area. Might have to play it. Pretty sure we just take it. If we take it, do we draw it? I, I, there's nothing else in the game that you take control of that goes into your hand, so I would say we're probably okay. Okay, Nathaniel. Hi. <laughs> Guess what? It's your turn. Uh... Action one, one, two, punch. Five, six, seven. Against four. Plus one. Eight against four. Plus two. Nine against four. Zero succeeds. We deal one, two, th three damage to it using Nathaniel Cho's power. Bop. I attack again, nine against four. Six, seven, plus one. Wait. Maybe they were both eight against four. Six, seven, plus one was eight, then it was nine. Seven plus two is nine. Yeah, nine against four. Cultist, negative five. We succeed. Uh, deal two more damage to it. I like that the second attack did less damage than the first attack, because Nathaniel's ridiculous. Uh, that's five out of 13. That's action one. Action two, one, two, punch. Eight against four. Zero succeeds. Deal one damage to it. Uh, 
Eight against four. Nope, nine against four. Skull is a negative two. That succeeds. Deal two more damage to it. Eight damage. It's got five health left. Mm. I think we want to save our monster slayer. Action. Last action punch. Six. Wait, do we want to save our monster slayer? Once per phase. It's got five less damage, so two plus one. Nah, I can't quite get it. Um, yeah, so we just punch. Seven against four. Bop. Cultist is a negative five. We actually fail. Bummer. Doesn't have retaliate, and it's evaded, so we're fine. Uh, enemy phase. This thing's readies. Upkeep. Resource in a cart. Good. Resource in a cart. Painkillers. Also good. So that's painkillers to heal damage. That's great. Okay. Now, here's the big one. Doom advances. Cry of fear echoes through the campus. The experiment is in play. Move at a location towards the dormitories. If it's not in place, spawn the science building. When this agenda would be advanced by reaching its doom threshold. Okay, so it moves into the science building. We gotta go chasing after it. Rex can resign at this point, but uh, <laughs> we probably won't need to. Here's the thing, though. Encounters. Check the Doom, too. Okay. Encounters. Can't investigate. Can't evade. <laughs> Jesus, Rex. Doom. Absolutely. Absolutely doom. We're into it. One card from death. 30 damage waits for us if we uh, fail. Oh! Did I draw a card of manual dexterity? Nope. We're one card from death. Do I have to? I do. Can you can you choose no you can't choose not to draw a card. You have to. Alright, uh it's Rex's turn to resign, but uh first things first. Oh wait. Rex has the experiment though. Okay. Uh five six seven against four. No, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Rex, you're one turn from death. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh investigator phase. That was Mythos, because Doom went to zero and then flipped. Yep. Uh, investigation phase, Rex. Action one, move. There's no doors, so we're fine. Uh, the experiment's here, but it doesn't engage on us. It's just considered engaged with us because stuff. One, two, three. All or nothing, right? I take a horror to get an extra one as well. So that's four. Uh, five, six additional on top of five already is 11. Fighting using books, 11 against four. That's way too much. That's massive overkill, but I'm fine with it. Booyah. Hello from the future, folks. Uh, this is M. I, um, so I did misread a card, uh, Pretty obvious misread. I'm sure most everyone caught it. Um, this is this comes from Magic Background and Eternal Background, where uh, when you are milled to zero cards and you try to draw a card, you die, um, which is fairly common. Um, so naturally, when I have a bunch of Beyond the Veils out and I'm not looking too closely at them because I don't want to, because there's three of them and they're kind of ominous, uh, I would assume that when you try to draw and you can't, uh, you die. Uh, but Beyond the Veil reads, Forced, if your deck has no cards in it, take 10 damage and discard Beyond the Veil. Which means that uh, Rex Murphy does, in fact, take a total of, uh, let's call it 33 damage? At the end of this particular round, as a result of using Dexterity when I shouldn't have. And uh, we are going to take a Physical Trauma. Still an okay victory, 
but uh, definitely worth noting. Uh, I believe that we might have to re-roll some things. Uh, I'm not going to go in and like fight the monster. We had it pretty cold, so I'm not concerned about whether or not Nathaniel could take it with events, uh, even if Rex had died. So it's probably not too much of an issue. But uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see me screw up here. Sorry about that. And uh, we'll proceed onwards. So here we go. The monstrous creature lets out a terrible shriek as it succumbs to its wounds and collapses onto the ground. A foul odor emanates from the corpse as its flesh begins to bubble and froth. Your relief turns to disgust as the body begins to shrink and disintegrate. Minutes later, the body is almost entirely evaporated into a sticky mass, and the awful odor has vanished. Inside the remnants of the creature's body, all you can find is a set of bones, the skeletal creature, the structure of a canine. Resolution 3. After defeating the strange and terrifying creature from the Department of Alchemy, you rush to the faculty offices to find Professor Rice. By the time you get to his office, there is no sign of him anywhere. Record that Professor Warren was kidnapped. Your campaign log record the experiment was defeated. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. And uh, we go to the house always wins. So uh, that is one, two, three, four. Is that it? Yeah, dormitories would be worth five, so if I'd gone in there and like done a bunch of investigating, I might have been happy with that. Uh, I wasted two actions on damage and horror. No, Rex would have died. It just it, it couldn't have happened. So we got as much ex experiment experience as we conceivably could. I will say, once a turn, Rex in hard mode, not as overpowered as Rex is generally in normal, because like you're just you're constantly facing the negative threes and the negative fives. And uh, you're constantly trying to get your books up without, you know, necessarily having access to magnifying glasses. And the draft Rex is also part of the problem here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, having a low book value is actually kind of an issue. Um, so it's interesting. When disaster strikes, Rex Murphy is usually on hand, suffering the consequences. After spending a day with Rex, even the most Rex, even the most hardened skeptic, will concede that the man is cursed. Anytime he had a lead on a good story, something would go wrong. That business in Innsmouth, where the photographs that had blown out to sea, the tracks in Dunnish that had washed away in the rain just before he brought the, brought the sheriff. His terrible fortune has more than once exposed him to gruesome beasts and occult conspiracies. To survive, Rex has developed an inquisitive mind, keeping one step ahead of the next disaster. Cool. And Nathaniel, I think we've already read before, but uh, when up-and-coming boxer Nathaniel Cho was offered lots of dough for a title fight, he thought he'd finally hit the big time, but his promoter turned out to be part of the notorious O'Banion gang. Nathaniel was pressured to fix fights by taking a dive every now and then. His refusal led to his brother Randall's accident. Nathaniel was rightly fed up with the mobsters endangering Arkham citizens on a nightly basis. Now he puts his fists to better use, patrolling the streets and defending others from harm. He's about to find out there are much more dangerous things that lurk in the shadows of Arkham than simple gangsters. All right. Regardless, we earn four experience, which is great. Let's uh, do those upgrades and call it a night. All right, four experience is a respectable amount in Dunwich. Uh, got our rules set up, including the taboo list, so let's go ahead and do it to it. Esoteric Atlas. Revealed location up to three connections away from your location. Move to that location. I actually thought it was two locations. That's weird. Oh, no, I'm thinking of another one. Maybe there's a one star and a two star? Farsight. What's that is Farsight from? That's a Dunnish card? I'm a little concerned that I've maybe like if you have eight or more cards in hand, exhausted to play an event, paying its cost. Huh. It's really strong if you're high on cards, but I don't recognize this card. I think it must be like a bonus card or something. Uh one second while we Google that. All right, it's a Harvey Walters deck upgrade. <laughs> Never even heard of it. Very interesting. Uh, I mean, Esoteric Atlas is probably the way to go, but it's not good. Um, Elder Sign is a Guts. It also soaks an incredible amount of horror, which is nice. Um, Farsight is also a Guts, but it's for experience, which I'm less inclined towards. Two Will Icons is very good. Esoteric Atlas allows us to bounce from location to location pretty consistently. Um, it's very, very good in the last scenario of the game. Uh, we can use it to do some pretty wild stuff there. Beyond that, uh, 
tricky because you have to constantly bounce back. It, it's nice for when you're bouncing back and forth between locations, like if you need to investigate things. But the thing about Rex is that he's going to clear clues off locations pretty consistently and then he's not going to want to come back to them. So, like, he's not a great esoteric atlas carrier. Um, Elder Sign Amulet is just, like, it's solid. Um, one thing I can do is I can teamwork it with Nathaniel Cho and I can just give it to him. Um, which is kind of nice. Like, it's a good use of Rex's abilities, and it's also something where it's like, if I don't do that, I can commit it as will, or I can use it to soak forbidden knowledge. Um, I think I'm most inclined towards that. Farsight uses up all of my experience, which uh, is bad. And then if I have eight cards, I get to play an asset for one free action, which is only if I've drawn a bunch of cards, and only if I have an event I want to play for its cost after paying two for the far sight. Working a hunch works. Rex's card draw works, but not at eight cards. Uh, Rex's card draw does enable far sight, so it's kind of cool there. But yeah, it's got to be Elder Sign Amulet. There's The one thing I can do is Esoteric Atlas. Like Esoteric Atlas will allow me to bank two experience as opposed to spending three on Elder Sign. But Elder Sign is like, you know, well, I'm going to just trade it to Nathaniel. It's not a big deal. And it's it's two will icons, which Vex needs to not die to sorcery, which we have established is a problem at the moment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it. Upgrade Math Magnifying Glass. Uh, Got to be the strongest card, right? Exposed Weakness is meh. Glimpse of the Unthinkable is for Harvey. Magnifying glass it is. Okay, very, very simple. Let's uh, go ahead and do the deck upgrades here, Arkham DB. Okay, and my decks, import deck file. No, sorry, Rex. Upgrades, okay, two things, right? Uh, first things first, edit. Our taboo list needs to be on, because it wasn't before. Okay, it's just Dr. Milan Christopher, and it'll also affect Rex's character card, which is important, but not a huge deal. Um, okay, so for our upgrades, we got two cards. We got the neutral card, which is Elder Sign Amulet, not some will icons, which is nice. Um, Painkillers. Now it's just amazing, I guess, so we don't really want to do that. Um, what do we ditch for that? That's a really interesting question. Magnifying Glass goes down to one because we're going to get the upgraded Magnifying Glass as well. That's our second card. Actually, really like that we got access to Magnifying Glass level zero because that's a strong, strong option. Um, laboratory Assistant or Art Student are both good choices. Both of them are already sanity soaks. Art student is the one that discovers a clue. Lab assistant is the one that draws cards and uh, increases our max hand size. I think uh, of the two, I'd probably rather have the lab assistant go and take the Elder Sign Amulet. Okay, pretty simple upgrades, solidly done, nice and easy. Restarting. With Angel Chill. Four XP upgrades, good to go. Start. Uh, it's charisma. You never not you never don't take charisma in Dunwich because there's just too many allies that are like gonna be your friends. Um, I think charisma is just good here, and it's three experience. We can play greet and beat cop simultaneously, get extra fight bonuses. Um, yeah, charisma is just like. It, it is the Dunnish card. We take it. Brother Xavier. Big fan of Brother Xavier. He's expensive as hell. We didn't have issues with uh, resources last game, for sure. But he soaks damage in horror, which there's a lot of in Dunwich. He gives will, which will tests are common in Dunwich, and it's one of Nathaniel Cho's weaker stats. The other option is evidence. There's a lot of four printed health enemies that Nathaniel can kill. Not as excited about evidence as I am about Brother Xavier. 
Without Xavier is no like upgraded B cop, I think, but he's very good. Survivability gives us like a ton of extra horror soak, which is nice. Uh, that is one of Nathaniel's weaker points, is if he takes a bunch of horror, it's a problem. But when we have Brother Xavier, that just doesn't matter anymore. And we just got Charisma, so more allies is good. And also, Brother Xavier's ability to be defeated and deal extra damage to an enemy at your location? Top notch. Uh, yeah, I think it's Brother Xavier. So Brother Xavier and Charisma means we only have to cut one card from Nathaniel's deck. Which is fine, Nathaniel's deck is very strong. Upgrade for experience. Oh wait, first things first. Taboo list. Okay, no, it's it's actually here. Taboo list. Okay, yeah. None of our cards are taboo, so we didn't have any major issues there. Physical training gives us will. Brother Xavier gives us will. Smoking pipe heals horror. Brother Xavier probably replaces smoking pipe, right? And we have a lot of allies here, but Randall Cho is just there to soak sanity, so... Yeah, I think smoking pipe can go. And we can get ourselves a brother Xavier. Significantly more expensive way to soak horror, but not going to feel bad about that. And the other card, Charisma. Pretty straightforward upgrades. All right, we need more resource gathering now, but uh, we have good fights, so that's solid stuff. Okay. That does it for this round of Draft and Die. Tune in next time when we take Nathaniel and Rex to The House Always Wins. Um, this will be one of the areas where the two investigators are probably at their weakest because they are there's not a lot of clues to investigate for Rex, so not as many things to do. And Nathaniel's also not going to have a lot of enemies to fight for the early stages, so we're mostly going to be trying to focus on econ and resources. Fortunately, we have quite a bit of those as well, so not too worrying. Should be an interesting time, but uh, going to be interesting to see exactly how far we can get and what we need to do. So regardless, I'm excited. Tune in next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Cheers.